There's lots of other social media for authors, and you wouldn't think certain social media. For example, since I've been making these Skillshare classes, I have been selling more books that I have promoted in these classes. So, um, and people have been clicking on the links, so I've been realizing that's where the sales are from. But also, you could think you could see your email signature as social media. I have all my social media links on my um, email signature. And um, it is very helpful for people to click on, because for example, I do blog reviews, or um, I do reviews on a blog, and um, at the bottom of my signature has all these links. So while they might not have known me, they're going to see all that social media stuff there, and they can click and um, hopefully keep moving forward um, with that. Um, I also have... MailChimp as a um, mailing list and what's nice about MailChimp is you will always have that person's email address. So for example Skillshare um, or Facebook or something like that they may change their algorithms or Instagram of how things show up or you know how things are emailed or things like that but if I have their email addresses I will always know that I will have their email address and I can send them something. So it's kind of something that is more um, you don't have, you're not on the whim of um, a company that might make a change and it might be best for the company but it might not be best for you and your subscribers so having an email address is really nice so that's why um, a mailing list is important and again I said I use MailChimp and why um, and usually I send out free things on MailChimp so for example when there's free books there's new books um, when I have activities to go with my books so for example Charlie the Cavalier has little hearts hidden on all the pages. So when people um, can read the book, they'll see the hearts. So I created an activity where you can actually print out a page and then cut out the hearts and hide them around the room. So then people can look for the hearts around the room with their kids and then look for the hearts in the book. So um, doing things like this are simple and fun to add to an email that's free content. I don't really, other than making the PDF, that's all I really did. And I could send it out by email and then hopefully get more subscribers as well as just getting people interested and excited about Charlie the Cavalier books. Um, I use Google Plus, but I don't, um, I don't, I guess my, um, whenever I, I create blog posts, it updates to it automatically. So kind of like Twitter, but I don't really follow up with it very often. But it's out there. YouTube, um, creating YouTube videos are a great way to get people to go to your classes, to go to your content, and um, so you can use YouTube like that. I'll just um, put links. And um, SlideShare is a place where you can put PowerPoints. I'll <laughs> include all these. And PowerPoints are one way to get people to go to your books. So for example, I created a PowerPoint of um, five things to do before leaving your child to go on a work trip. And um, one of the tips that I included was one of my Charlie the Cavalier books. So um, that's one thing you could do. And lastly, live. I'm pretty excited about live sessions. Um, you can do that now on Periscope or um, on Facebook. And the cool thing is on Facebook right now, it sends to all of your followers when you're going live, which right now if you write a post, it doesn't do that, but it does when you're live. So it, just little tips like this is um, how you can get to more followers in different ways. So. Um, those are extra things. I'm sure there's more, but those are things um, that I use that are helpful as an author.